oh, I'm getting emotional. Um, Pastor Jeremiah, if, if, if those of you don't know, um, he's one of the most prolific pastors of our time. Uh, you probably have seen him, Dr. David Jeremiah, Turning Point Ministries um, on TV on Sunday mornings. He's global. He's got millions of followers. I've had the great opportunity to train him for the last decade. And he's one of those guys for me that I should be paying him to train him where he pays me to coach him. Um, the three times a week I get the opportunity to work with him. He's 83 years old. 83 and he makes me look like the biggest slacker of wow. all time he he's looks amazing yeah. he's, he's writing books i promise he's got another one coming out in october he's got multiple new york times bestsellers i'll go on and on but he is constantly sharing so much life wisdom and business wisdom and relationship everything like this is a guy that stepped into my life and has become such an important mentor and friend he's a great friend of mine and um i'm really honored to work with him but the way that came about was michael in april of this past year it was a friday i just got done coaching him i stretch him out on the stretching table afterwards he's all sweaty and he says hey i have a question for you i said what's that doc he says you always talk to me about getting outside your comfort zone i'm like of course doc in order for you to to get to the next level you got to push yourself and challenge yourself physically and mentally and you're doing a fantastic job we got a great job to have our lower body and working on the backside working on posture and he said like, yeah you always told me about getting outside your comfort zone and today i have a question for you that's going to get you outside of your comfort zone i'm like what's that doc he says well i'm challenging you to step outside your comfort zone and i'm asking you to deliver the father's day message at my church shadow mountain church i'm like what do you mean deliver the message on father's day he said i'm asking you to step into the pulpit and preach i said doc i can't do that i'm not a pastor i can't preach to thousands let alone millions of people he said I told you I'm challenging you to get outside your comfort zone and I'm asking you to take the pulpit on Father's Day to share all about what that means to you. I said, Doc, I need to pray about this one. <laughs> he said, okay, you pray about it. You let me know Monday what the answer is. And I gotta tell you, all weekend, I'm, I'm still like, man, quote, great opportunity, but I don't know if I can, I, I got to go up and, and I got to proclaim my faith and I got to, I, I, I got to make sure that, you know, that I'm public with this and I prayed about it. And <laughs> I don't know if there's such things as signs from God or not, but I'm going to tell you, I had three signs that weekend, vivid signs that I was supposed to step way outside my comfort zone and say yes. And Monday morning when I said, Doc, uh, I'm I, I'm going to accept you on your offer to get outside my comfort zone because I've challenged you enough. You challenged me. I'm going to say yes to that. He said, good, because I, I wasn't going to accept no as an answer because I knew that you were supposed to do that. And uh, lo and behold, on Father's Day, I stepped, I stepped behind that pulpit. And that pulpit, man, is a big pulpit um, because I know the responsibility that he has in changing people's lives. And um, I did that. And um, I felt extremely honored and blessed and humbled to uh to preach on a father's love my father me as a father and god as my father and i gave those three lessons that was how i he he didn't give me any guidance he said do whatever you want to do you just, just don't come out in a gray hoodie and start screaming and yelling like you look crazy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. but i but i want you to preach that would have heart. been amazing by the way I, I I may have done that if he didn't. Those are the only rules. Don't come out in a gray hoodie and start start yelling and screaming at all my people. You might scare them all away. Um, so uh, it was interesting that um, after that he said, you know what, that was so awesome and the feedback is so amazing. Um, we've got a cruise to Alaska that's coming up, and I got Tony Dungy and James Brown, the G CBS Sports um, host for for NFL football, and um, Daniel Jeremiah from NFL Network coming on that. He goes, I'd like for you to speak on that and lead the workouts on the ship. There's a thousand people from the the turning point on there.